أفلا يتدبرون القرآن أفلا يتدبرون القرآن أم على قلوب أقفالها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Again, we had the recitation of many beautiful and powerful ayat that Allah Jalla wa ala revealed to His creation. And we spoke about today, we read the ayat pertaining to death, the ayat of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ayat of the wrath and anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and many ahkam, and many ahkam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, re- has revealed to His creation. So today we'll stop in one of the ayat, and this was the ayat. Uh, one of the ayat were recited in the final rak'ah where Allah Jalla wa Ala, He says, Inna ma tawbatu ala Allahi lilladheena ya'maluna su'a bi jahala thumma yatubuna min qareeb that Allah's repentance and Allah's forgiveness is for those who when they fall into sin they fall into sin out of ignorance now whenever we sin do we know that we are falling into sin when we sin? yes, we do so what does this ayah mean? That Allah's repentance is only for those who fall into sin out of ignorance. The scholars have mentioned that out of ignorance means out of ignorance of the greatest of the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all know we are falling into sin. Yet we still sin and disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we all fall into sin not knowing how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Because if we knew how great He was, we would never fall into sin it will be impossible for us to fall into sin. And that's why the repentance is from Allah Jalla wa ala is for those who fall into sin not knowing the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Jalla wa ala mentions His greatness in many places in the Qur'an. وَمَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِ None of you have given Allah Jalla wa ala His due right. None of you can truly know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْضَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ when the entire earth will be in his grasp in Yawm Al-Qiyamah. And the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. Imagine how great he is subhanahu wa ta'ala. The day when he subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the life of his creation. And then he says, Who is the kingdom for today? For Allah the one the supreme. This is how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. And before this, we read today another verse where Allah Jalla wa ala just mentions a part of His creation. So when the, when, the, when the Muslims and the believers, they look at this part of the creation and they ponder and they reflect, they begin to understand the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. That indeed in, this, in the creation of the heavens and the earth. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. Wa layli wal nahar. And the alternation of night and day. There are signs for those of understanding. When we just contemplate on these few signs that Allah Jalla wa ala has mentioned in this ayah, how great is Allah Jalla wa ala in front of us after this? In the creation of the heavens and the earth, we look at this earth that we are standing on. Allah is the one who created this. We look at the sky which is above our heads. Allah Jalla wa ala is the one who created this. And Allah Jalla wa ala even mentions challenges in the Quran. And he says the sky which is above our heads, Are there any pillars holding the sky firm? There are no pillars holding this. Yet the sky is firm above our head and it is not falling down upon us. The earth that we stand on and all of us together and our weight and everything that we have built and we are on this earth and the earth does not sink beneath our feet. Look at these signs that Allah Jalla wa Ala has given us. Just how perfect the alternation of night and day is. Imagine as Allah Jalla wa Ala says in the Quran, if I was to take away your son and then you were in darkness forever, who would give you light again after this? If I was to take away your darkness and you were in light forever, who would give you darkness again after this? But how perfect is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we know that when we know when night is going to begin, we know when the day is going to begin, we know when the sun is going to come out, we know all of this. Why? Because Allah Jalla wa ala has perfected His creation. So we understand how perfect His creation is, and this gives us an indication to how great He is subhanahu wa ta'ala. So repentance is for those who sin not knowing the greatness of Allah Jalla wa Ala. Because sometimes we know we are sinning. 
and we know we are falling into haram and we know we are disobeying Allah and we disobey Him. But when we remind ourselves of who we are actually disobeying, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created everything that we see, the one who created Jannah, the one who created Jahannam, the one who created the, the, the greatest punishments that anyone can ever think of and comprehend, this is the one that we are disobeying. And we need to realize this when we fall into sin. Because we are always unaware of this aspect when we fall into sin. And this is why the mercy of Allah Jalla wa'ala comes on to us. Because Allah Jalla wa'ala is merciful to His creation. They didn't remember. They forgot about my greatness. Therefore, I will forgive them. This is how merciful He is, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to His creation. إِنَّمَا التَّوْبَةُ عَلَى اللَّهِ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السُّوءَ بِجَهَالًا ثُمَّ يَتُوبُونَ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ Those who fall into sin, not knowing the greatness of Allah Jalla wa'ala, then they repent min qareeb min qareeb means before they pass away or before the signs of death they come to them so a person has to repent and the greatest <coughs> repentance is the repentance of the anbiya of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we find that whenever the, whenever the anbiya of allah jalla wa ala, they fell into error and they fell into sin they will immediately repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they wouldn't even like to take a single breath except they want to they want to repent to allah jalla wa ala. Dawood, alayhi salam when he judged between two, when he judged between two people and he only listened to one side of the story, Allah Jalla wa said, this is what you have done, is a sin, it's a mistake. فَخَرَّ رَاكِعَ وَأَنَابْ Straight away, he turned to Allah Jalla wa in salah. He turned to Allah Jalla wa in repentance because he knew that he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Nuh alayhi salam, he asked Allah Jalla wa to forgive his son, his son when his son died upon disbelief. And Allah said that if you, uh, you, you Nuh, are from those who are ignorant, and you could be from those who have gone astray. So Nuh immediately, he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Adam alayhi salam, he was taken out of Jannah and placed on this earth. Immediately he returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the believer. That he returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he repents immediately as soon as he, know, he acknowledges that he has fallen into haram. فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ These are the ones that Allah jalla wa ala forgives. These ones, they disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but because they do not know how great Allah truly is, Allah jalla wa ala overlooks this. And He gives them a chance to repent. With the condition that they repent before they pass away. If they repent before they pass away, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ These are the ones that Allah jalla wa ala forgives. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا And Allah has knowledge of everything, and He is why He is the all wise subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to ask ourselves, how many times a day do we seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being the best of mankind, the best of the creation of Allah jalla wa ala, he said, I seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 100 times every day. 100 times every day. And he is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I seek forgiveness from Allah jalla wa ala 100 times every day. All of his past sins were forgiven. All of the sins he would ever commit were forgiven. Yet he would still seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 100 times every day. And we ask ourselves now, how are we like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? No, we are nothing like him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do we sin more than him? Yes, of course we sin more than him. Are we guaranteed Jannah? No, we are not guaranteed Jannah. So how much, how many times a day do we turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We ask Allah jalla wa ala to make us from those who continuously ask for his forgiveness. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who he has forgiven and he has converted all of our sins into good deeds. We ask Allah jalla wa ala to allow us to go into the highest jannah with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to give us the great honor of seeing his beautiful face subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.